Lately, I've been using AI to help me with just about anything I can. And the other day I had the idea, can it help me plan out a trip that I'll actually enjoy? We're taking my twin sister Monica on a trip to Hawaii and I'm gonna use AI to plan the whole trip to see if it can actually be a useful tool in planning trips. Now I'm not just gonna let it plan anything in the world because realistically, who would do that? I feel like no one actually would, so it's not really that useful. I wanna see if I can prompt it in such a way that it effectively plans a trip that I like, and so it makes it less planning work for me and potentially for you to try as well. So to do this, I'm using the new Oppo Find X8 phone. This phone software has a ton of AI features in it, so it is really perfect for this. They did send me the phone and they are sponsoring this video, so I thought this would be a more fun way to show you guys some of the features than just doing like a review. I'll show you the AI features along the way as we do the stuff that AI tells me to do. So this phone runs on a software called Color OS 15. It felt very intuitive to me, easy to use everything. So let's go ahead and plan this trip. I'm just gonna off the top of my head, tell it some things I'm looking for and we'll let it do the rest of the work. Plan a three day trip for me leaving from LA. I don't wanna fly more than six hours. I'd like to go somewhere tropical. I wanna have a relaxing trip, not super adventurous, I'd actually like to not spend a lot of time in the car. I'd like to just go to one spot and explore what's in that area. I'm going with my sister and she likes to golf and I like to play tennis, so we'd like to find ways to do that at some point. Let's budget. Okay, so we've got a pretty solid itinerary. I will reveal it all to you guys when we get there. This is really cool because it will give you flight options as well. It links you to the hotel options. It links everything. All right, so I've got my itinerary. I'll see you guys in Maui. All right, here is our itinerary for today and the next couple days. So check it out. We've got what well, we already did, flew in obviously, check into the resort. Okay, so the next thing it's got for us is to relax by the pool or beach. I can do that. I think we're aligned because definitely tired from the travel day. So that sounds great. I love and the timestamps. Yeah. I love actually like having a plan like that. I love when someone tells me what to do, to be honest. It's like a, having a little travel planner. Yeah, <laughs> like, yes. Yeah, so then 5 p.m. enjoy a sunset cocktail cocktail at the Banyan Tree restaurant. Sure, if you insist. Why not? 7 p.m. dine at the Terrace, a beachfront restaurant. Cool. Okay, let's go, I guess, do what it says. Relax by the pool. Perfect first day itinerary. Yeah. Like, sail into the hotel. It's a realistic one. We're not about to go like zip lining right now or no. something. This was really the perfect way to start the trip because we were pretty tired from the long travel day. And that's the beauty of using AI. You don't have to let it totally control everything. You can tell it what you like, how you prefer a trip to be, and it'll help give you some structure to your trip and find recommendations of things you might not have found just looking on your own. So we did explore the hotel a bit too. I was surprised that the Ritz Carlton was the same price as a lot of the other hotels in the area. I honestly don't think I would have even checked because I just assume that they're way more expensive. So really glad that AI told me to pick this one because this hotel is super nice and the service was so good. So while getting ready, I had Gemini read out to me what the itinerary was for the day, which was a morning hike. It picked a restaurant for us to go to for breakfast and going to the beach in the afternoon. Start your day with a hearty breakfast at Ulana Terrace, a bright and airy restaurant overlooking the gardens, pool, and ocean. Enjoy a delicious meal of local favorites. And then I also used a feature called AI Speak, which will read aloud any web page. So I looked up the restaurant it recommended. It scanned the page and then it can read the menu and tell me a little bit more about the restaurant. The newly reimagined Lana restaurant features a renowned breakfast a la carte menu. This inspired- We decided to also do a quick little work session before getting into today's itinerary. Something I always have to do when I'm posting a new video is make the description. I've been doing a process where I speak everything and then I clean it up. I'll show you how I do it. 
In this video, we are looking into how to build a new construction house specifically in Los Angeles, period. I interview a developer and builder in Los Angeles who works. So I kind of will just word vomit what I want it to be. But what's really cool is you can use AI Assistant for notes to format it. But I can just click that and it's gonna reformat things so that it's easier for people to read and also easier if I need to look at it back later. So this is a really cool feature, especially when I'm planning videos. I can just word vomit everything that I want to be in the video, but then I can have the AI Assistant for notes format it in a way so that when I'm going to shoot, it's easy to understand. There's also this AI writer tool where you can describe what you want it to say and then select a tone. I like the polite tone the best and then it'll write out a really great email. So I just use this to send over some vlog edits to my editor, Olivia. This makes it super easy to keep up with emails while on a trip and not have to spend a ton of time on it. Next on the agenda was breakfast and this place was really good, but it was pretty pricey. So that's one thing I'm learning with AI. AI is if I have a price range I want to stick to saying that from the start because if you don't specify things with AI it's just going to pick whatever it wants but I will say this place was delicious and I asked it what to get it recommended the banana mac nut pancakes so insanely good hey we're starting the hike we're starting at the beach this is kind of nice some morning movement you know to start the day I'm here for it I like that they that it picked that so this was a relatively easy hike about three miles long and not a ton of incline so a nice way to start the morning some light movement nothing too crazy that's gonna wear us out for the whole day it actually started on a paved path but ended up going to this really cool area that had these tide pools and everything and i used ai speak so i could listen to the history of the area while still taking in the scenery because i didn't have to look at my phone the evolution of kapalua resort in the beginning all hawaiian lands were divided into a hopua high slices going from forest to sea giving each person access to various elevations for different crops I always kind of want to know like what was the history of this area, but I don't want to be actually looking at my phone screen. Just makes it a little more interesting, you Just know? one of those efficiency life hacks Shelby has always amazing me. I like doing this as opposed to listening to a random podcast because it makes the hike more interesting, learning about the history of the area as you're walking around it. I've also done this at museums before. Highly recommend. It's like having a little tour guide with you. So after our hike, it gave us the option to either go to the pool or the beach. And we're like, you know what? We can go to the pool whenever in Palm Springs. Let's go to the beach. Even though I live in LA and you know, we do have beaches there. I just find that I never actually go. I'm too busy trying to be productive. So I'm really glad it set aside some beach time because it's just one of the best things about Hawaii. You can't go here without going to the beach. It would just be really sad. And while we're at the beach, I tried the AI studio. This is super cool. So it'll generate a new AI photo of you. So I tried on these different hairstyles and it was crazy because I feel like it looks like Monica in these. Like, do I not look like Monica? It's kind of trippy. These would actually be really handy if you need to make headshots or something, or you just want photos with a different background. So kind of a cool tool to play around with. Okay, we are going to the dinner spot that it recommended. It's called Samsai. And it actually said that there's a happy hour. So we're gonna go ahead and do that because we're kind of on an earlier time schedule anyway. So might as well take advantage. So we'll get some sushi. We'll see how it is. And this is where I learned that there are some things that AI just doesn't know. Like that this happy hour, everyone on the island is trying to go to. There was people lining up an hour before it opened. So we just went to the spot next door, also really good. Day three kind of became our activity day. It gave us golf in the morning and tennis in the afternoon. So I've actually secretly taken golf lessons the last few months. Yeah, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> but if you don't play well, are you gonna be in an okay mood? I'll be fine, yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, like when you play a new course for the first time, expectations gotta be low. So Monica has gotten really good at golf and I don't know what the heck I'm doing out here, but I do enjoy the atmosphere of being on a golf course and at least just giving it my best. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh God, the people behind us are gonna be like hating their lives. You know, my best wasn't great but it was a fun time regardless. And it's just kind of funny because Monica is obsessed with golf and I'm obsessed with tennis. So trying each other's obsession sports is really hilarious. There oh, I job. feel like that was good for me. Good job. 
I would say I did a better job getting photos and videos of the golfing than I actually did golfing, but it was still really fun. They have the coolest trees out here. I took a photo of the tree and I used circle to search on the phone to figure out what they are. Turns out they're a monkey pod tree. Super handy feature you can use on the internet or anything you take a photo of. This was the epitome of me golfing. The ball hit a rock and then came back at me. It was pretty hilarious. We had a good time doing this. There were two different golf course restaurants, so I asked it where we should eat, and it said the Plantation House restaurant. Such a good recommendation. This place was delicious. And I took a photo of the menu and asked my AI tool what I should get, and it said the fish sandwich, and this turned out to be a really good pick. I was very happy with the selection. Now we're gonna give Monica a little, a little tennis lesson maybe. Let's see how it goes. It's me. Um, my main goal today is I want to try and look like a tennis player, so I'm trying to go like this. I feel like it's hard to be good at it. I know. I'm the, like, they're whoa. so like, they're like well, almost like, like dribbling like, it. Like, yes. Um, also, you know what is a mark of someone who like grew up playing is how they pick the ball up. So like, really? this is like a noob. You pick it up. And uh -huh. then someone who's like grew up playing, they'll go <laughs> just like a little, and then I'll grab it. Here, let's do a little backhand drill. Mm, let's play first. And show me like a phantom swing if you were to do one. Well, as soon as you decide it's gonna be backhand, get this back as soon as possible. Even, so that means if you're running, you're running like that. And then try two-handed. Yeah, exactly. Wait a little before you hit it. Kind of watch it come down. Yeah, see that was pretty good. <laughs> I will say once Monica got warmed up, she was doing pretty good. I was like, okay, I can work with this. We can play some tennis. And for dinner, it first recommended us to go to Merriman's restaurant. We realized though that you actually have to make reservations quite a bit in advance. So we just went to the lobby to have dinner, which was really nice as well. But this does bring up a point that if you're gonna use AI to plan your trip, maybe plan it, you know, a couple months in advance so you have time to make the reservations. But honestly, this place was really good too. I was very happy with it. And this view, I don't think we would have gotten a better one. I had to snap some photos here and this phone has an AI reflection removal tool that worked really well for this because there was some glare from the lights, but I was able to take those out. So you can see a before and after. It is a pretty handy little tool. Okay, it's the end of the day. I am pretty tired. Great day though. One thing I like to do after going on a trip is make a list of my favorite places for when I go back or for recommendations for friends so I can just send it. So use the AI recorder feature to record this because it has this summary tool. I'll show you guys how it works. So we're just gonna hit record and say, everything I'm thinking. Okay, Maui recommendations. I would recommend the Sansai restaurant at the Ritz Carlton for their happy hour, even though we didn't go this time. I have been there years and years and years ago, but what I learned this time, is people start lining up an hour before the happy hour starts. So get there at 3 p.m. Another thing to note, there are a ton of tennis courts in the Kanapali area. Most of the hotels have them. We were able to play for free. Another thing I'll say is the Plantation House restaurant had really good prices and was the delicious. So I would recommend that. And there's a shuttle from the hotel that will take you there. I would also say in general for someone visiting, most people probably would want to rent a car, but parking is $35 a day at this hotel. Sometimes like in our case, it's more worth it to not rent a car and just Uber around. Okay. That's pretty good. But let's just have that formatted for later. So you can see it generates this nicely formatted summary and then it automatically saves it to my notes. So I can refer to this later or I can easily send this to friends to recommend things that I liked. This is great. This is perfect. So I'm back in LA and overall, I would say using AI to plan the trip was pretty successful. The only thing I would do differently is just use it a little more in advance to plan the trip because there was one restaurant it told us to go to that we didn't realize we should have made a reservation a few weeks in advance. I thought it'd be fun for the video to kind of reveal the stuff each day. But in reality, if you're going somewhere and it's the high season, just have AI plan the trip a month or two in advance. It can link you to everything to go make the reservations. I really liked using the Oppo Find X8 for planning this trip because it just has so many AI tools automatically integrated. Like the Notes app already has AI tools within it. They also have some great photo editing tools. I really like this AI eraser because I had a good photo, but the wind blew this coffee cup into the shot. I was able to take it out and now it looks way cleaner. So that's pretty cool too to use after your trip when you're looking back at everything. Also, I didn't actually use this on my trip, but it has an AI translation 
navigation tool. So if you are going out of the country, this would be really cool for reading street signs, menus, trying to get around. Really handy that you just have this already within the phone. So check this out. They have this live translate mode where you can ask a question and it's gonna transcribe things in the different language on the other side and then read it out. Ciao. Mi chiedevo se vendete maglioni di cashmere e se li rispedite negli Stati Uniti. It's a really cool feature because the person on the other side can read and hear what you're trying to ask them. And then they can also use the speaker to say something back to you. All right, so that is a video I hope that you guys enjoyed. I highly recommend go have AI plan a trip for you. Even if you're not planning one soon, it's really fun to just see what it comes up with. You can have it just pick something completely random, give it a budget. That's kind of fun to see what you can do, see the potential of where you you can go. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. I'll have more about the phone and ColorOS 15 linked down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.